A very good morning at Alton Tower Scarefest. We have just watched the ancestors. I've got my Scarefest beanie that I've just bought. Now going into see Bibi's land, see if there's anything interesting we can ride or find in there. So the queue times don't see too bad in see Bibi's land, but we're going to have our photos done because of course it's Scarefest. Um, of course, beanie, everything. So we're just going to go in there and see if we can get some photos done. You know. I'm actually going to go over here first. See if the queues are for any good. So it's always just seeing just then. They've still got all their 55 minute queues, which is absolutely terrible. So I am going to get my photos done, then we're probably going to ride Oblivion or something like that. Then we're going to see what we can do for the rest of the day. This seems quite fun. Even that didn't go to plan with about a 35 minute queue just for the photo talk. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just leave and take some more shots of the outside until we get our scare maze tickets and then we're gonna officially ride some rides. Yeah, should be good. So they've got this old store back, ready for night time. I am staying until half nine, but uh, let's get on with our first attraction. So we're heading to Mutiny Bay to see what the welcoming be chosen looks like. And uh, this is what I saw. It looks awesome. I think it's got a zero queue as well. Like the queue time doesn't look good for it. But I couldn't, couldn't get on it at the moment. Couldn't get on it because of different reasons. But we were going to do it, but then I kind of just. Get, it's not that I didn't want to, it's just I'd rather see the story on Secret Weapon Ace itself than a scare maze about it. But they've got a lot of queues. Like, Here's the queue line for it. Um, quite, quite interesting maze though. Very interesting. And we will probably see a maze over there now if this works out. But the only reason this maze is probably going to be a one off because of, you know, different reasons. Um, like um, Secret Weapon 8 being there and this maze is for Secret Weapon 8 only oh, wow wow it does look really good so with every scare maze you get this telling you what you can or can't do but yeah the welcoming looks really good so I'm probably going to ride the barrel ride first. Going on the barrel ride, can't remember what it's called. Borderer's Mayhem, that's what it was. Looking as good as ever. Yeah, we're going to ride that as our first ride of the day. Here we go, 
throw the right stuff in. Let's do this. Tell me in the comments what you think, should I do a construction vlog or not? But uh, yeah, there's a cute little pumpkin character over there. Dad, have you seen him? The pumpkin over there. He's adorable, I might get a photo with him. If I do, he'll probably come up in a sec. Um, but yeah, let's go. just came off the second ride of the day Jewel do you know what we had a really good run with it today um, the ghost and ghouls bit they need to change because you can just see the like the wires and stuff and it just looks really really bad for such a good themed ride you know it's, a, it's one of the only dark rides we've got really got in Britain now but Replacing bubble works at Chessington having the Gruffalo. It's a lot better than just taking the whole thing down. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Now we're heading off to the rapids. So, I'm going to take a few shots. It's got a nice little kind of garden lights going on. But, uh, yeah, see you after.
After such a good run on the rapids, we are going to have a look at some weapon A. But as my dad has gone to the toilet, the ancestors are in near drawing. There's the zombie dude to, to definitely make sure you know. So they do have a dance off in Mutiny Bay and they also have one here. Um, but yeah, so if you ever come to Scarefest this year or next year and the ancestors are here, if you miss the one in Mutiny Bay, they always do one here. And I think they might do another one here and another one in Mutiny Bay as well. So you can't miss that. So guys, it's starting to get, not massively, but a tiny bit darker, I'd say. Like, still perfectly bright, I would say. It's just starting to turn on a few lights. So that's giving me a signal that it might be a bit darker. But we're heading to Oblivion and the Smiley Rex. Shall I go and get a ticket on it? I don't know, actually. I'm tempted to go and battle Gullion. I really am. But no, I'm not going to. Because it's like a maze. It's like a maze in there. You can't find the entrance. So then when you do get the entrance, you get soaked. And like, you know, like the get dry here machines are used so much just because of this one ride. You know. So we are heading to Hex, Oblivion, Smiler. I'll take a few shots of them. You know, like, we've still got ages until... You know it gets dark but we've also got only a bit of time left but we can queue for one ride before we might start heading to our first scare maze that i've ever done in my life um, and it's going to be house of monsters i know not too great but you know it's worth five pounds each person so because there's only two of us ten pound that is decent just coming over here for a sec thought I saw something interesting then. No. I thought I saw in something interesting but I really didn't. So we're going to continue to Oblivion and Smiler. Um, to continue. Scare. Yeah. Here we go, Smiler at Scarefest. This is going to be freaky as hell but let's do this. Thank you hard for Scarefest! So we've got more twists and turns today as usual. As usual it's an hour. Nothing really different to what it normally is. Really it's always normally an hour, half an hour, four to five minutes. So you can't really complain. to go through here.
you come to Scarefest, you, even though you have to wait an hour for the Smiler, it is completely worth it. We've just had probably one of the best run-throughs with Smiler that we've ever had. Um, the lights have started to turn on, so um, it's nearly half past five. Well, it's not nearly. It's getting to about the five o'clock time though. So we're going to start heading to House of Monsters, but we're going to have a look at the different mazes before we go though. Um, like Legend of the Slin Skin Snatchers, Altonville Mine Tours of course, Terror of the Towers and some species. So yeah. So right now we're just going to see how Altonville Mine Tours looking today. Because I feel that it might look quite nice today. So we're going to give it a chance. It's going to come up here and see how is it. So that's scary. I don't want to know what it's going on. Quite nice. So, this is the sort of mine where you just have a look. So, coming here, you go in a cave and you see the legends of the skin statues. As I said, Light's starting to flicker. So we're going to have a look at the Altonville mine tours. <laughs> so now people are running out because of the uh, subspecies end scene if you've not been in it spoilers are now so skip to the time that's probably up here or just skip a few minutes um, and um, but yeah like the end scene is a chainsaw beautiful I'm a score theme song yeah, you get chased out with a chainsaw <laughs> so that's why I'm watching everyone everybody can you see that can you see that that is the Wickerman logo which is probably going to film the towers when it gets darker okay well spotted dad you clear theme park spotter but the wicker man is going to be on the towers tonight and we're going to walk past but wow really well spotted but we're going to walk past terror of the towers see what's going on some people are going in that not many people though um, not as many people seeing as it was the 2016 most recommended maze um, so if no one goes in there then uh, how can it be most recommended but Tower of the Towers is the best I would say Tower of the Towers what lies within a few years back Tower of the Towers and subspecies were joined by Molly Crow as well in 2016 Molly Crow got replaced uh, in the exact same spot with Altonville Mine Tours so now we're going to probably head off to our scare maze House of Monsters we'll queue for that and see really is there really so now we are actually in 
our cuckoo land and I can see it the entrance for House of Monsters so we're gonna go in there I'm gonna give you my ultimate review of my first ever scare maze Scarefest 2017 fortunately I can't take you um, with me but I will definitely give you my review and if you want to I will even make a review video like my freak show review on YouTube on a separate ep episode so guys let's go in house of monsters So guys, we just came out of House of Monsters and it's bloody incredible. Like, I went in, it was all interactive and stuff, which I thought, like, we had, the old thing was spoilers, so if you want to skip, skip about two or three minutes or even five. So basically, we went in, right, and we had to, like, someone set off the curse and stuff. We had to try and get out of the house. I loved the theming in, in every room. There was so much genuinely brilliant jump scares, but at the end, like when we all broke the curse, people were in like doors and they were bursting out, kind of going like, "Get out of my house!" And at one point, like my group, they all ran out. They were all gone, and uh, three of them were surrounding me, going, "Get out! Get out! Get out!" And it was absolutely incredible. It was hilarious. Like at the end, I, like some of the jump scares in there, like at the start you get a jump scare and the second interaction you get a jump scare and just for 20 minutes or so, it is worth it because we only had to wait about 10 minutes, it, not even that, probably about 5. It was incredible, like if, if, you, if you have kids or or if you're just an adult and really like thinks, oh, maybe a kiddie maze might be okay because I don't like the bigger mazes. Or even if you normally do all the mazes, I massively recommend House of Monsters. Like, some of the characters are there, you know, Frankie and Bolt are there at the end there, the last scene, because you have all the things, because Frankie's broke, broken to bits and he's the only one who knows how to reverse the curse. And it's amazing, like the intro, interactions and then he said we're too late he said we broke the curse but we're too late so he told everyone to get out and then people were bursting through the door saying get out get out get out so incredible um if you don't know where i am actually behind this wall is actually one of the scare rooms and it used to be a wobble world yeah all in all a great great maze and do you know what? If I could rate it, I'd rate it. I'd rate it four pumpkins out of five. Even though it says three pumpkins, like on stair level, I'd still vote it four pumpkins, maybe even four and a half pumpkins out of five. Because all in all, probably one of the best scare mazes I'll ever go in. But like you get your scares in there, you get your nice bits, you get your ugly bits, you get your, you know, the bits where you, where you, where you think, wow, this is amazing. You get all them bits in one, and it's just all in all an incredible maze. So yeah, thank you, House of Monsters. Please return next year, or if not that, something that's very similar. Because at the end, like the ending of that was just like a 15 plus maze. You know, they'll chase you out, they're chasing you out. It's like subspecies. They chase you out with a chainsaw. And I think, like, the way I got chased out, I fully got chased out. Everyone else was just walking out. I got fully chased out. So, as you can see, it's getting darker, but flipping incredible. I recommend it so much. And if you ever get down it these years and House of Monsters on for, for a fiver, that's incredible but because we've got a Merlin pass it's a pound cheaper so eight pounds for two for the two of us me and my dad just absolutely worth the money 100% might even be worth even more so we're gonna go on to our next attraction but yeah just came out of Hex, the 
I'm going to see the exit of Terror of the Towers probably. Oh. Oh. That's different. See that the exit is that one this time. So there's the normal exit. But here's us. Walking up a completely different way to go. So now it's night time, pretty much. We're gonna head to the freak show. But um completely different but I like the new little light but yeah so Terror of the Towers is where the normal exit is so I guess that's why they've just shut it off yeah yeah you can hear it in here that's one of their fire. Yeah, that's the actual rally itself. Wait, is this it? That's something. I can't read it well. Where have we even ended up? We've ended up all the way at Cookie Cars. Remember, no running. Yeah, no running. Wow, that's completely new. Oh, new? New, isn't it? New. New entry. That's probably Hex. So what our plans are is to get the Skyride and show you lot the welcoming and Secret Weapon 8. But we're not sure if the Skyride's even open. Um, so this could go one or two ways. Um, I think it might not be open in my opinion I'm gonna have a look da does that look open to you that doesn't look open to me yeah people going in maybe it's open maybe it's not should we have a look or are they just it doesn't look, very open, it? It doesn't look open I can't tell like because there's no people here like, no, I, don't I don't think it'll be open. Is it? Is it? Is it not? It doesn't look open. Nothing's rolling or anything, is it? No. So, okay. Well, it's shut, so we'll just have to walk. Do you want to go down there to 13? Huh? We'll do that a bit. So, if anyone remembers, Shank Sanctuary was once there. Only my dad went in it, but... There's subspecies entrance. That's six pumpkins. Six. That is incredibly big for a pumpkin amount, I'd say. But we've got to walk all the way to the park entrance to then go to Freak Show. Because I don't want to, I don't want to en entrance backwards. Because I don't want to walk backwards. So yeah, I think we're actually going to get to see the Wicker Man now. So, do you think we will? Do you think we can see it on the tower? Wow, this is what I mean by the towers really lights up at night. The towers look beautiful at night. Like Terror of the Towers, you can see it, it's in green. Looks scary as a poop. But, this is what the tower looks like in night, smoke coming out. Let's continue walking. We'll see how everything else is doing. The smiler doesn't look lit up yet though. The smiler doesn't look like it's probably light. There's Terror of the Towers. Where did we see it? Was it over there? Yeah. Oh, I think... I don't think I can see it. If we can't see it, then they probably did a poor job at it. Oh, I can see it. Oh, we can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I can just about see it now, probably. Now. 
It doesn't say anything. Look, it's going to appear again. It doesn't say anything. There is where it cleans it out. Can you open it? Yeah. Doesn't really say much, but um, yeah, the rest of the towers looks beautiful. But um, it doesn't say give us any information. But, um, but yeah, that's that's it. The Wicker Man is right there. Um, but as it announced, it's been called Wicker Man, so don't know what that's doing there. But it's probably just advertising the new one for 2018 to try and get more. If you go down to the mines today you better go when it's dark because uh, it looks awesome so does that sector entrance can't see it very well but uh, be able to see it in a sec if this strobe light moves away X sector looks boss are, you going, are we going in it? Smiler used to look good. Smiler was apparently one of the best looking um, lights, but it doesn't kind of look very attractive. So we, we look at it a few times on here and Oblivion. Yeah. While well, we're here, because I'm not sure my legs can make it back. With that, with that. Hey. Eh? With what an Oblivion? Smiler yeah. and Oblivion. Yeah. And if they're not too long, yeah. Then we'll go on them now, and if not. We'll just head down to because I don't think my legs can make it back up here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to crap so if you heard, we're going to Smiler or Oblivion or both. Depends what the time is. Smiler's 50 minutes. Right. Um, I don't. I can't see Oblivion. Oblivion. We've missed it. I don't know what. I don't. Oblivion is set to half an hour, right? Half an hour. It's set to smile is 95 minutes. 95? Well, you depends what it says outside, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, this is what the ride rides in the dark really look like. If you saw my ride rides in the dark, um, it says 50. It says 50 minutes. Do you fancy? Does he see that? It looks probably a little bit less this afternoon. Do you want to go and have a look at Oblivion? Oh, have a look at this. Yeah, you want to go on this? Yeah. Mm. Let's go in. I'm going to show you all the queue lines in the dark because I bet they look like the smiler indoors and stuff. Because I bet that looks really good in the dark. Guys, I'm going to go to my favourite ride in the dark. Change your mind on Smiler, because we're not going to get long in other places, so we're going to give the Smiler up because we've already rode it today. So we're going to um, Oblivion. Going to walk around Oblivion. It looks wicked in the dark. Can't wait to go on. Um, but yeah. zoomed in this before um, that at night looks awesome so Oblivion was amazing and now we're going to go in the freak show let's go
Just the same as how some monsters put that in.